A gurgling mud pool is creeping across Southern California like a geologic poltergeist. We usually think of California having earthquakes, but it also has tremendous amounts of volcanoes. A mysterious bubbling mud geyser is on the move in Southern California, flitting dangerously close to railroad tracks, Highway 111, and some very expensive optic cables like a geologic poltergeist, according to new sources. Even stranger, this puzzling geyser, dubbed the slow one, quote unquote, is in the same neighborhood as the source of the so-called big one, the giant earthquake that is expected to shake things up where the North American Pacific tectonic plates rub together to form the San Andreas Fault. But despite the slow one's unprecedented movement as of late, there's no evidence that this muddy geyser is an imminent precursor to an earthquake, according to geophysicist Ken Hudnut with the U.S. Geological Survey. According to what he claimed uh, and uh, explained to the Los Angeles Times, in fact, the region has experienced less seismic activity in recent months than average, he says. But researchers have known about the slow one, this mud, vol this mud volcano, the mud pool, also called the Nyland Geyser, since 1953. It formed when historic earthquakes caused deep cracks underground that allowed gases to move upwards and escape to the surface, causing the bubbling mud pools, the Los Angeles Times reports. And unlike Yellowstone's Old Faithful, which has molten rock that superheats the circulating hot spring water, the Nyland Geyser is heated by bubbling carbon dioxide and registers at about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about a comfortable 27 degrees Celsius. After not moving for decades, the geyser caught the attention of scientists when it began moving around the past few years. David Lynch, geophysicist, told New Los Angeles Times, and then over the past six months, the geyser went on an erratic tour, first moving 60 feet over a few months, and then a whopping 60 feet in one day. In one day, can you imagine? Officials reported in Imperial County, this is in the area of the Salton Sea area, which is a volcanic crater there. So the geyser latest move threatening the region's infrastructure, including a Union Pacific Freight Railroad track going to Yuma, Arizona, a petroleum pipeline owned by the energy company Kinder Morgan, a line of fiber optic telecommunication lines owned by Verizon, and a section of Highway 111, which connects Interstate 10 to the California-Mexico border, the Los Angeles Times reports. Now, it's a slow-moving disaster, Alfredo Estrada, Imperial County's Fire Chief and Emergency Service Coordinator said. So far, attempts to halt the geyser have not worked. For instance, officials tried draining some of the moving spring's water, and Union Pacific built a 100-foot-long underground wall out of boulders and steel that extends more than 75 feet deep as a measure to protect the railroad tracks, but Mother Nature simply shrugged his shoulders and uh, the bubbling mud slipped under the wall, <laughs> can you imagine, creeping even closer to the railway. And the muddy spring shows no sign of letting up. Over the past 10 years, the rotten egg smelling muddy spring, that's the rotten egg smell is from the sulfur, it's one of the volcanic gases. The muddy spring has moved more than 240 feet from its old location. So far, the mud spring has carved an approximately 24,000 square foot basin that's about 18 feet deep and 75 feet wide, according to research by Lynch and his colleagues. In the meantime, Union Pacific has taken precautions by building temporary tracks on more stable land and lowering the speed limit for trains in the area, the Los Angeles Times said. The California Department of Transportation said it will shut down part of Highway 111 if the gurgling mud gets too close for comfort. For now, the spring is acting like a moving sinkhole, a moving sinkhole with mud about 40 feet deep. Can you imagine? As it moves through the region's mudstone, it's a soft sedimentary rock. It leaves behind a sunken trail, 
much like the glossy path left behind a moving snail. The public is advised to steer clear of this roving, bubbling mess. Toxic gases and lack of oxygen could suffocate any victim who falls in within minutes, Lynch said, but the carbon dioxide dissipates within a few feet of the spring, so scientists and other officials have stayed safe so far. It's a quirky thing, said Lynch, who has been consulting with Union Pacific since uh, uh, spring. If there was no railroad nearby, we wouldn't even know about it. This would just be something out there chewing out in the desert. This is by Laura Gegel on Life Science. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.